Hello everybody, my name is FlyingCow1 and welcome to my channel if you are a new viewer. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build this medium sized starter survival house in Minecraft. It comes with a little kitchen right there, it is two stories tall and it's got a bedroom on the second story as you can see right there. It's a great house for two players. I really like how it turned out so go ahead and stick around to the end of the video if you want to see how to make it and let's get right into the build over here guys. So. These are all the blocks that we're going to be using for this build. Go ahead and pause the video right now and go collect all these blocks if you're going to be building along with me. And the block amounts will be in the comment section below. It'll be the top comment and I'll have it pinned. But other than that, once you've got that all sorted out, let's get right into the build over here. So what we're going to do first, we're going to take our cobblestone. We're just going to place down five. Right there. Then we're going to turn. We're going to place down four off of that. Then we will turn again and we will place down four more off of that making a five by five square with only three sides. Now that we've got that, what we're going to do, we're going to go on each side and we're just going to place down four oak planks. And then off of each of those oak planks, at the end of that, we're going to place down four off of each of those. Let's go do that to this other side over here. And then off of each of those, we will place down three more. Once we have that, what we're going to do is we're going to take our cobblestone again. And off of this block right here, we're going to place down five cobblestone. And we will do that on the other side as well. And then we can go ahead and just connect those two ends right there by placing five more in the middle. Now that's the full outline that we have. Now what we're going to do with that outline, what we're going to do is we're going to take our oak planks and on this end right here, we're going to go in and then we're just going to fill in all this floor right here. There's no need to break any ground for this part of the build, which is always nice. When you're building in survival, it saves you a lot of time breaking all that ground. So we're just going to fill in this whole part right here with oak planks and then we're going to take our oak wooden slabs and we're going to fill in this area right here three oak wooden slabs and then this area right here we're going to dig out and then we will replace it with our oak planks Once we've got that all complete, what we're going to do next is we're going to take our oak planks again. And right here on this side, we're just going to put down two right there. And then we will put down two on this other side right here as well. Let me just make sure I'm doing this correctly. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to build up two more on each of those. So this is what we're going to have. And then we're going to go ahead and just connect those right there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take our black stained glass panes and we're going to fill in that little two by three window right there. Once we've got that part done, what we're going to do is we're going to take our oak planks. We're going to build out another layer right there. And now right here, we're going to build three layers and it's going to go up three. So we're going to have a little three by three wall right there. And then we're going to bring it down by four blocks. So like that, we can go ahead and do that for these other two rows as well. And now on these other two rows, we will also be building two blocks right there. So that's what it's going to look like now. And then we can go ahead and fill in this window right here with our black stained glass panes as well. And that's what that part is going to look like. Now we can go ahead and go on the other side right here and we're just going to copy down that exact same thing. So what we're going to do again guys is we're just, we're just going to put down two on each side right there and we're going to build up by three and then connect them and then add another layer 
right there just like that and then on this side it's going to be on the opposite side the pattern is going to be on the opposite side we're just going to put down three three and then another row of three and then we can go ahead and just build that down all the way and then connect them right there and that's what it's going to look like now we can go ahead and take our black stained glass panes again go ahead and fill in those windows and there we have it guys go ahead and feel free to pause the video if I'm going too fast I know that sometimes I do go a little bit fast in my tutorials so I apologize for that um, but yeah I'm gonna try to go a little slower for the rest of the tutorial but once you've got that part down what we're going to do is we're going to take our cobblestone we're going to need to get our cobblestone stairs out as well we're just going to place down one stair right there then we're going to take our cobblestone and on this corner right here we're going to build up by three i believe it's three on this build as well yep okay Sorry guys, I'm going off of memory here. It's kind of hard to remember. So we built three right there, and then on this other side right here, we're also going to build up by three, then we'll connect them right there. That's gonna be our little doorway. So we can go ahead and go on the inside and place a door right there, giving it a little bit of depth when we place it from the inside. And then right here, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna place down two more cobblestone, and then two more above it right there. And then in these two gaps, we will place down two black stained glass panes and now that side is complete what we're going to do we're going to go on this side over here we're just going to place down four right there four off of that and then we will place down one right there one right there and then we're just going to fill in the whole entire third layer right there with cobblestone again and now we're going to take our black stained glass panes we're going to fill that part in right there now once we have that done, we're going to take our oak wooden slabs. We're just going to go ahead and line all of that cobblestone that we just placed. And on the front and back, we're going to have that layer extend out by one block. So let's go do that on the back side here now as well. And now we can go ahead and fill in this little section of the ceiling that we have. And now that we have that part complete, what we're going to do is we're going to take our oak wooden slabs and we're just going to put down three more right there. And now that part of the house is complete. Now let's go ahead and move on to this other side right here. We're going to be building this part right here now. And for this part, what we're going to do is we're going to take our cobblestone. We're going to build up by two on each of these corners right here. Then we're going to go ahead and connect each side of that from the top and now on this side right here the side of the house we're just going to go ahead and fill that part in so it's going to be a completely blank cobblestone wall but then on the front and back as you can see we've created a little one by three window which we will then fill in with our black stained glass panes and once we have that what we're going to do is we're going to take our oak planks we're just going to go all the way around this part right here or no excuse me that's the wrong block sorry about that guys we're going to be taking our oak wooden slabs and we're going to go all the way around and then let me go check this one more time all right and then what we're going to do is we're going to take our oak planks we're going to line that up right there then we will take our oak slabs again and we will add an extra layer along all of that and now what we're going to do is we're going to take our oak slabs and go ahead and fill in this part of the ceiling right there and now that's what we're going to have I guess we can go ahead and just break these. Didn't really need those at all. So that's that part of the build is now complete as well. And now for this middle part of the build, what we're gonna do 
is on each side of this we're just going to build up by three we can go ahead and do that on this side as well and now we will build across by three on each side right there creating these little doorways now for the rest of this we're going to put down five right here and then we will go up two on each side that is remaining and then build three across creating a little one by three window right there which we will then fill in with our black stained glass panes and then we can go ahead and do the exact same thing on the other side so that's five more down right there and then two down on each side and then three more across on the top and then we will fill in with black stained glass panes and now that we have that what we're going to do is we're going to take our oak wooden slabs and we're just going to fill in from this part right here we're going to fill in the whole ceiling slash floor right there and then what we're going to do we're actually going to break out those two blocks right there and then we're going to build up a little ladder area right here so we're only going to need to place down three ladders and now on this top floor what we're going to do is we're going to just go ahead and fill in the ceiling right here with our oak wooden slabs all right so now we've got that we've got the house part of the build complete now we can go ahead and get rid of all that stuff and what we're going to do is we're going to take our uh, our lanterns, water, bed, crafting table, furnace, and our orange carpet. Now what we're going to do from this outside part right here, we're just going to break out these three blocks. And then we're going to put in some water right there. And then we're going to put down a lantern right there. Then as we go on the inside right here, we're going to place a lantern right here in the corner. We're going to go over here to the kitchen and place down two, one in each corner right there which we can then also put down our two furnaces and we will need our oak planks again to finish off that little counter right there we can put a crafting table right there as well now in this part of the build we're going to put down our little carpet so you only need six right there you could do nine if you if you wanted it's really up to you I'm just going to choose to do nine right there and then in this corner over here, we will also put a little lantern right there. And then as we go upstairs, what we're going to do is we're going to take our uh, oak wooden slabs and we're going to put down a little lantern shelf right there. And then we'll put a little lantern on top of that. And then we will put just put down two more beds and then that will be it, I believe. Feel free to just add whatever you want to the interior once you've built it. It is your house after all. So there you have it guys. That is the full tutorial of this medium sized starter survival house. I hope that you guys all did enjoy this video. If you did then definitely go leave a thumbs up, drop a comment down below suggesting what you'd like to see me build next, and also hit subscribe and hit the little bell button so that you don't miss an upload. And uh, if you made it this far into the video then I would just like to say thank you so much to you because uh, it really does mean a lot to me that you guys watch my videos all the way through. So thank you so much for that. Uh, and uh, as always, I hope to see you all in the next one. Peace.